Sam, I'm boiling some water so I can make a drink for you. Okay. should I do to stop the water from boiling? Ah uh, yes, let me turn off the stove. But now the kettle might be very hot. I think I'll need some help. Mom! Yes? I need your help. Coming. What's wrong, Sam? Which part of the kettle is safe for me to hold and pour the water? Oh, the handle is made of plastic, which is a poor conductor of heat. The body is made of metal, which is a good conductor of heat. So, I should hold on to the handle as it is a poor conductor of heat. Heat doesn't flow through plastics quickly. But we should still wait for the kettle to cool a bit before we touch the handle. Go have your breakfast. I'll make your drink later. Thanks, Mom. We need to observe what happens to the blue liquid when it's placed in the hot water. Okay, let me put a flask in. Hmm. That doesn't look safe. Stop! If you hold the flask this way, wouldn't your hand be in contact with the hot water? Hmm, you're right, Sam. To avoid getting hurt, I should hold on to the neck of the flask. Our teacher also said that we should place the flask in the container carefully so that the hot water does not splash out. Water level is rising. Sam, can you get the bowl of soup from the kitchen counter? Okay. The soup may be hot. How do I bring up the soup safely? Yes, rubber gloves. Rubber is a poor conductor of heat. I won't hurt my hands if I use them to carry the hot soup. Thanks, dear. Come, let's eat. Okay. 